It hit everybody very heavy. You could just feel it around town. The, the mood is very somber. Nearly a week after a deadly school bus crash, Buda and Hayes CISD continue to mourn the loss of 33-year-old Ryan Wallace and Tom Green Elementary pre-K student, 5-year-old Ulysses Rodriguez Montoya. Well, I was devastated. Every time I saw that picture of that little boy, I cried. And I have grandchildren, so it really upset me. In the midst of the hurt, a search warrant affidavit reveals the driver of the concrete pump truck, 42-year-old Jerry Hernandez, admitted to operating on three hours of sleep and cocaine. New footage released by Hayes CISD from the exterior of the school bus shows the pump truck swerving into the bus. It just makes it worse for the families to know that this didn't need to happen. Adam Merrill can't help but wonder why Hernandez made those choices. When we are employing these individuals to go out and complete a task or complete a job, they must do it safely and they must do it so where they're not going to harm the community. And in this instance, it was not taken care of by the individual himself or the company. And Liz Kites, who works in Buda, says more regulation is needed. I think it definitely should change. You should not be driving on three hours of sleep. Sylvia Garcia thinks something should be done about State Highway 21 where the crash happened. There's no middle lane. There's no room for any error. And they're going 70, 80 miles an hour on that. I mean, there's so many accidents there. It's scary. I don't go down there. But no matter the reason, there's no erasing the pain. I just think the whole thing is really sad. It's just a sad, tragic accident. Merrill says it's just a good thing Buda supports its own. This is going to be a level of trauma that not only our school, but these children live with for the rest of their life. And I hope as a community that we'll continue to support these individuals and help them get through it. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.